children, are you ready to do some phonics? You can pause the video and get yourself some paper, a pencil, and make sure that you're sitting at a table ready to write. Okay. Right, let's go through the sounds that we've done before. I'll help you the first time. Are you ready? Brr. Well done. You are doing so well with those. This time, see if you can do them on your own and tell your grown up. Are you ready? Brilliant. Amazing. Super sounds. Keep going. Wonderful, you have remembered all of those and you are doing really, really well. So we are going to do our new sound today. So let's have it, have a look at it. This is the grapheme J. The name of the letter is J and the sound it makes is J. My turn, J. Your turn, J. Your turn, J. Your turn, let's bounce out the sound. J, 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 J. Well done. Let's look at some pictures. Are you ready? Jump. Your turn. Jigsaw. Jellyfish. Jar. Juggle. Jet. Well done. And juggle is what we what a clown might do with lots of balls in the hands. Well done. Let's have a look at the picture today. Okay, I have drawn a picture and this is called a jack-in-a-box, a jack-in-a-box and a jack-in-a-box was a toy that I had when I was a little girl. You don't see them much now but it's got a little person that's on a big spring and that person, the spring squashes up into the box and you wind up the side of the box and suddenly the jack-in-the-box jumps out. Look at the long spring. Look at it on here. It's a jack-in-the-box. And we go down his body, curl and dot. Down his body, curl and dot. And it's got a descender that goes below the line. Okay, we won't practice writing it yet. We shall look at the card. If you see this side, you're going to say, Jack in a box. In fact, you could almost jump up like when you say it, you could go, Jack in a box, like you're jumping out of your box. If you see this side, you're saying, J. Let's see you jump up. Are you ready? J. J. Jack in a box. Did you jump up? Let's have another go. Jack in a box. Jack in a box. J. Well done. Let's hide it in the pack. You know what we're doing. When you see this sound, you are going to say, that's the sound we're looking for. J. Are you ready? Hide it in the pack. I'll do it the first time with you. K. Sh. Mm. That's the sound we're looking for. J. Did you get it? This time, see if you can do it on your own. Ready? Wonderful. Well done. Where is it? That's the sound we're looking for. J. And 
You might think it looks like an if, but actually it comes below the line and the if doesn't and the curl goes the opposite way. So are we ready to write? Let's wiggle those fingers. Let's scrunch them in a ball, stretch them out, scrunch them in a ball, stretch them out, reach up high and wiggle them, reach down low and wiggle them. Let's give each finger a kiss. And stretch and we're going to remember that we are going to rest our pen on our middle finger we pinch and rest hold it near the point not like this much more control near the point right and we're going to sit with our tummies to the table our feet on the floor okay nice straight back our bottoms tucked into the back of the chair so we're ready we are going let's have a look at the card here it is we're going down his body, curl and dot. Down his body, curl and dot. You have a go. Down his body, curl and dot. So I'm going below the line and I'm trying to make sure each one is the same length. And which one's the same height? I'm even trying to get the dots in a line. Down his body. Curl and dot. Down his body. Curl and dot. You pause the video and see if you can write ten of those as neatly as possible. Fantastic. Now, where is that frog of mine? Oh, right next to me. There he is. Hello Fred, how are you today? You're excited because it's Monday. You said it's Tuesday. I need to get my ears tested. Sorry Fred, I do need to get my ears tested. It is Tuesday. You are very right. Okay, let's do some words. Are you going to whisper them in Fred talk? Remember Fred only speaks in sounds. Let's go. Three Fred fingers. Okay, I'm going to wiggle those. J, et, j, et, j, et, j, et, j, et, j, et. He said, I did very well. Jet. A jet is like a big aeroplane, isn't it? Okay, next one. J, og, j, og, j, og, j, og, j, og. Jog is when we go out for a run, but we're not going too fast. We go for a jog. It's a bit of a slow run, isn't it, a jog? Oh, he's asking me a question. How many sounds can I... Oh, he said it's a hard one. Oh, my goodness. How many sounds can I hear in the word jump? Jump. Jump. Four. Four, gosh, that was a hard one. J, U, M, P, jump. You do it with me. J, U, M, P, jump in the middle. J, U, M, P, jump in the air. J, U, M, P, jump. I'm going to have a go at right. J, U, M, P, jump. I'm going to have a go at writing that word. Let's see. J. Up. Jump. J -o -mp. Jump. J -o -mp. Jump. J -o -mp. Jump. J -o -mp. Jump. Four sounds. Pause the video and see if you can have a go at writing jump. Fantastic, well done. Now, today we're going to have a look at our red words, first of all. We're going to then have a go at writing a sentence and then we'll have a go at some green words. So, red words, these are the ones that we have done before. So, I bet you know what that one is, don't you? It's I, isn't it? And that one? The. Tell me whether I'm bringing I or the from behind my back. 
God, well done. I, well done. The, well done. Oh, it's the again. I, well done. You were very good at those. I and the. Two is another one. It's just got two letters. We can't send them out. Two. Have a look at that. Is it I, the or two? The. Two. The. I. The. Well done. I. Fantastic. Now, two other words that we did. No and go. In these words, the O oh said its name, O. Oh. The name of that graphene is O. Oh. N, O, oh, no. G, O, oh, go. No, go. See if you know whether it's no or go. Are you ready? Go. No. Go. Let's put those in with our pack here. No, go, the, to, I. And if you're, you've got a grown-up with you, they could write them out on cards for you to practice and cut them up. That would be great. Now, we have got some other words that I want to go through. Just as no and go said the name of the letter in the word and not the sound, the name of the letter O, these ones are going to say the name of the letter. You're not going h, e, but the e is saying its name. E, the name of the grapheme is e. H, e, he. You do it with me. H, e, he. Have a go at this one. Exactly the same. M, e, me. M, e, me. Oh, here's the sound at the beginning that we did last week. Shh. E, she, sh, e, she, wa, e, we, wa, e, we, b, e, b. Well done. And today I'm going to use the word he in my sentence. My sentence is he can jump and jog. It's a big one. He can jump and jog. Let's clap it together. He can jump and jog. He can jump and jog. Let's do it with some actions. He can jump and jog. He can jump and jog. Well done. So let's have a look and writing our sentence. He, it is one of my new words. And remember, the F is saying E. He. It's a nice tall letter. He. 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 That's right. Finger space. Can. K -a -n. Can. K -a -n. He can. You're right, it's jump. We've just written it. J -u -m -p. Jump. It had four sounds in it. J -u -m -p. He can jump and finger space, but I'm going to go to the line below. And 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 Make sure you hear that D on the end. It's not an, and, and, a, n, d. Let's read it through again. He can jump and jog. Finger space. J, it goes below the line. J, o, g. He can jump and jog. Right, I've got my checklist, and you could make a checklist at home. My checklist says capital letters. Now, a capital letter 
goes at the beginning of the sentence. Not at the beginning of each line, the beginning of a sentence. I need a capital letter. Let me get another pen colour so we can see where I've corrected it. There's a capital H. He. Have I left finger spaces? Yes, 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 yes I have. Full stop. Put a full stop on the line, not in the air. There, on the line. And read it through. Check I've got all the words. He can jump and jog. That's fantastic. You could write that. You could think of your own sentences to go afterwards. Maybe he can run. Maybe she can run. Maybe we can run. Have a go at a few more sentences there. So finally, I just want to do some reading of words. We'll do the first ones together and then you can have a go. B, I, N, B, I, N, Bin. Pig, pig, pig. Oh, one we've just done. J, og, j, og, jog. Have a go at this on your own. And when you do it on your own, just gradually say it faster. So if you started going k. Up. Now do it faster. C up, cup, until you've got the word cup. Have a go at this one. C it, kit. And this one we did this last week. Run, r -un, run. So well done. You are doing so well. You are now writing little words, little sentences, practicing your letters. It doesn't matter at this stage if you need help sounding them out. It doesn't matter if you need help writing them. We're all at different stages, but we've got lots to be having a go at. Have a lovely day, children. Enjoy your learning and we're looking forward to seeing you soon. Bye.